Hey everyone, this week I've been struggling. I've been struggling with issue 1981. In this issue, I outline a problem with the current Venger data model as it relates to orders. The way we model orders is inefficient because for every order line, for each quantity, we create an order item entity. And this is okay when we're dealing with smaller quantities, but some businesses expect orders of 5,000, 10,000 of a particular part, for example. That's where things break down. I detail all these issues right here on GitHub, but it all comes down to efficiency, computational efficiency, memory efficiency, storage efficiency, and that also translates to speed. So this week I've been buried in this huge refactor to improve this data model and make it much more efficient. So once I'd performed this refactor, then I ran the end-to-end -end tests and 356 tests were failing. I spent the next couple of days methodically going through the code base, fixing all the tests, getting everything passing again. And believe me, this is no small feat when it comes to the order logic, because this is the most complex and the most important thing in the entire system. The calculations need to be right. That's not just adding up the prices, that's taxes, that's promotions, that's what happens with a refund, what happens when an order's modified. All of these things, it took a while, but I finally got it down to all the end-to-end -end tests passing. And then came the moment of truth. Does this make any difference at all? Have I wasted the past three and a half days? Well, I tested it this morning and the results were very pleasing. So pleasing, in fact, I decided to make this video. So here I wanna demonstrate what the effect of these changes is. So I've got two GraphQL playgrounds here. On the left-hand side is the new version, which I've been working on this week. On the right-hand side is the current latest uh, version 1.x. So we're gonna change the quantity of an order line and this really illustrates the advantage of this new design. So first of all, we'll start with a reasonable quantity, 10. So on the old version, or should I say the current version, if I do that, it, we get around 100 milliseconds, which is nice and fast and that's totally fine. We'll just compare with the new version. Again, totally the same kind of range. Now let's up that to 100. So again, we are about the same range, one to 200 milliseconds. We've done a lot of optimization on this current architecture so that we mitigate a lot of the problems, but there's a certain point where we can't handle the problems anymore and they start to manifest, which we'll see. So again, on the new version, it's completely comparable. Let's go to 1000. Now we'll start to see some difference, 660 milliseconds, 800 milliseconds. So you can really see that it's slowing down. It, Still within the realms of acceptability, but you can see that there's trouble on the horizon. In the new version, let's go to a thousand products. Okay, again, we're just in the range of 100 milliseconds, no change. Now let's get into the realm of some kind of B2B parts supplier, maybe some uh, electronic components where someone's gonna order um, 5,000 of them. Let's see how long this takes. So what's happening now is each of those order items, 5,000 have been created. They all get looped through. We do things like checking um, the promotions against every single order item. So 5,000 times, very, very inefficient. And you can see that the performance is kind of trending quadratic here. So the more um, quantity that we add, then the um, performance gets exponentially worse. Let's compare that with the new changes, 5,000 no change, 100 milliseconds in that range. As you can imagine, if we go up further to 10,000, following the uh, exponential curve of this performance, it's gonna take a long time, so I'll leave that running. In the meantime, I'll order 10,000 on our new version. And again, it takes exactly the same time. So maybe I'm gonna edit this and we'll see how long it eventually took to change the quantity to 10,000 in the version 1.x Avenger. One eternity later. 36 seconds. So any further than that, your server's gonna melt, everything breaks, customers flock away from your website and it's a disaster. So not workable. New version, 100 milliseconds, everything's good. And it's not just that, it's also if you're the administrator and you wanna open an order record, then we can see what that takes. So here's our order. Let's clear out the network tab. We just want to view an order. We're not even changing it, just to open it up and view it. 
It's going to take a while. Let's see how long it takes on the current version. Thirteen seconds just to open that order record. The new version, exactly the same quantity. Let's clear out the network tab. Open. 200 milliseconds. All right, I hope I've demonstrated this is a major, major change. We're having orders of magnitude better performance when we're dealing with orders, uh, which is the whole point of an e-commerce system. So I'm really excited. This is, it is a breaking change. There will be migrations needed to take your old data structure for existing orders and port it over to the new version. Uh, I'll do my best to make that as easy as possible. But as you can see, I hope you agree, the results are totally gonna be worth it. Venger 2.0 coming soon. See you later.